Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw and color Nyan Cat. So let's get started. With this Nyan Cat, we're going to first start by drawing the head. So right here, I'm going to be drawing the ears. I'm going to be bringing two curves to a point, so about right here. I'm going to start with a curve, and then I'm going to bring one down. And then I'm going to go across for the top of the head, about that much. And then I'm going to start the other ear. So you can come over and just kind of give yourself a little point so you kind of know about where how high your ear is on the other side. So I'm just going to go up and then bring it down. So I got the two ears in and now to bring the big um, head in. So I'm going to bring a big curve over here on this side. So same thing on this side. And then I'm just going to bring it all the way around. And so to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to come to my center and say about right here. And give myself a little point so I know where to bring my curves to. So I'm just going to continue. And bring it all the way around. And connect it. So there, I got the head in. So now let's bring this Nyan cat to life. So I'm going to give um, this cat big draw sick you eye. So right here I'm going to give two circles. I assume this Nyan cat is a girl, so <laughs> I'm going to call her her. So two big draw sick you eyes right here. And two small circles inside for highlights and curve line at the bottom. So thank you for all the requests for this Nyan cat. Without your request, I wouldn't know about many, many things. So I'm very appreciative of your requests. And I'm sorry if I can't get to all of them, but I do appreciate them because I learn a lot of things from your requests. <laughs> and the lines at the bottom. So here. Two small circles and curve line at the bottom and shading the top. And the lines at the bottom. So we got the two draw so cute eyes in. So let's come up here and just draw a little curve on top of the eye just to anchor the eye. And then right here in the center, we're going to draw her little nose. So come in between the eyes, um, say about right here. And I'm going to draw kind of like a little triangle. I'm going to fill it in, the little triangle. And then I'm going to bring a straight line down. And kind of like drawing a J. I'm going to go up. And then the other side, a curve. And then just cap it off a little bit on the ends. So I got her little face in. And so she has these cheeks right here that are pink. And I'll do that when I color it in because I don't want to outline it with a Sharpie. I think it's a little bit too dark. So now let's draw the Pop-Tart body. So we're going to come about right here where this, um, the head and the ears intersect. And I'm going to draw a straight line up. And so I'm going to start to draw the Pop-Tart. So if you're not comfortable drawing a straight line, you can always use a ruler, but um, it's small enough and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna um, try to freehand it. So then uh, right here where the head ends, you're gonna draw a straight line towards it. So about right here. Draw, try to draw a straight line. <laughs> And then um, we're going to bring this around. So kind of see how big you want your Pop-Tart to be. Um, I feel like if you make it more of a square and a little bit smaller, it's a little bit cuter, but it's all up to you. So I'm going to come about, let's say, come over about right here. This is how big I want my Pop-Tart. And I'm just going to start to draw another line down. And so this way I kind of know how big I want my Pop-Tart to be. And then I can start to draw the curves. So I'm going to curve this one here for the corners. And I'll do the same thing on this side, about this high. So 
to, if you're using a pencil, just draw a square and then you can come in and round off the corners. Probably a lot easier. So then um, connect these two lines for your Pop-Tart. For my wobbly Pop-Tart. <laughs> there. Okay, so now let's go inside. Now we're gonna draw the same thing, but just smaller. So just follow your outside line. So I'm gonna come about this much in. And so I'm just gonna follow the outside. So this is a little bit easier. Kind of. <laughs> and I'm just gonna draw my straight lines first. There. And then I'm gonna come in and curve it. Okay, so finally I got the Pop-Tart in, and now let's draw the um, tail. So she has this little tail right here. I'm just gonna pop out a tail, so it's just a curve. It goes up, comes around, and back. And then for the paws right here, I'm gonna draw two for her front one. So about, let's say, about right here where the front one would end. Let's see, about right here. I'm just going to draw a little paw, little curve, nothing fancy, and then another one in the center. Like that. So the kind of the nose is kind of the center of it. Okay, now for the back paws. So we're going to bring one about right here on this corner. So just kind of make sure it ends about the same spot. Same height. So I'm going to bring one here and then another one for the back. And notice it's kind of at this angle and the front ones are just kind of hanging out straight. And so then for the pop tart, there's these little um, sprinkles inside. I'm also going to do that when I color it because I don't want to outline it with a sharpie. And um, so now to draw the rainbow trail. So we're going to come about right here, the top and bottom. And I'm going to draw this curve, kind of like a wave. However you like it, doesn't matter at all. So I'm going to follow that curve at the bottom right here. Okay, so go right here. I'm going to follow. So I'm going to go up. And that's um, my rainbow. So to make it easier, because there's going to be six bands of color, I'm going to come to the center. Just give yourself a point. This is about the center. And then I'm going to draw another one, the same thing. Sorry, my voice is starting to crack. <laughs> I still have, I'm much better now. I don't have a cold anymore, but my voice still cracks here and there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, okay, now I got the rainbow um, curves in, so I'm going to come in and draw two. So I'm just going to split it, so about one here and one here, and just give yourself some points just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to even it out. And so then this one here. And one more. Ah! <laughs> kind of like a flag, right? Okay, so there, we got our rainbow in. So um, now it's time to color it. To color this drawing, I'm just using your basic water base marker. So anything that you have at home will totally work. So let's get started.
So there, my Nyan cat drawn and colored. I hope you like how it turned out and I made it easy for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching and if you loved this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.